Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the HG Gundam The Origin Zaku 1 Cassilia's Forces version. So this is pretty much the exact same thing as the regular Zaku 1 that we've seen, especially Shar's Zaku 1. I believe it's going to be pretty similar to that, except it has this little bump on his head. And that's pretty much it, and it's in black. So uh, not really going to be too much new in the case of this kit, but Bandai really keeps finding ways to make me really want to keep building these uh, Origin Zaku kits because uh, really so little different changed in terms of just the parts with this kit but just that black color scheme is cool. Of course you can always paint that yourself but it does have at least the new part for the head. I don't think there's anything else new about it that I that I can tell so far but we'll see when we open it up it may end up having a different backpack but even that I don't think the backpack looks exactly the same. So. Thank you to USA Gundam Store for supplying me with this kit. As always, check out their site down below. Use my coupon code there. Save 10%. That's all, all that uh, is down in the video information down below. So, cool box right here on the front. As you can see, it looks almost very uh, like black tri-stars considering the colors. And there's like three of them prominently here, but there is another one there off to the back. This is number 18 in the line. Here we can see what the kit is going to look like on the front and back. Again, pretty normal. Doesn't really have a whole lot in terms of like special markings on it either. It's just a lot of these small ones. You can see there's just the marking stickers used on it there. Uh, and then a little bit here about just the story for Cassilia Zabi and a little bit of the story just kind of about her and then about the story of the origin episode four in general. On the other side are some action poses. We can see this comes with the bazooka, the heat hawk, the Zaku machine gun, and the shield. So a pretty nice array of weapons there, all pretty standard for the Zaku, I suppose. And then all the nice articulation that we know to expect from this kit. So 1700 yen for the list price for this, I think probably could have been 15 or 16, 16 probably, but let's see what we've got here. So we've just got the standard gray color here. There's some of our stickers, some really dark gray, almost black there. Uh, the weapons runner, the inner frame runner, all of that that we've seen many, many times before now. Uh, shield parts, Zaku machine gun parts, uh, other joint parts, and polycaps. So they snuck the new part of the head there in on the corner of one of the runners, I can see. We'll get back to the runners in just a minute. Let's take a look at the guide first. So there's just the box art on the top. On the bottom, again, just front and back image of that. Some more information again there if you're interested there. Always nice to have that in Japanese and English here on the other side again just showing some finer points of articulation and weapons details about the weapons details about Cassilia's forces where the markings go on the kit and then the color guide here at the bottom in Japanese and English. We've got our parts list here and we've got some parts that are going to be not used on the A and B runner it looks like. Looks like uh, a few of these runners here just have a couple parts that are going to be left over. But we'll talk more about uh, what those are and if some of them are going to be useful. I think some of those look like they might actually be useful for some other stuff, but we'll talk more about that in the review. So the construction is simple, body, head, uh, waist, arms, legs, and then to our color page here for the weapons, all weapons that we've seen before, so nothing new there. And where those attach onto the different points on the kit, and then you still have to use the adapter piece for plugging this onto an action base. So here's our sticker sheet. Again, it has the kind of the same options here: uh, the solid option or the kind of glowing option for the mono eye, and then this a larger one is for the camera on the bazooka. And not much in terms of the markings for this kit; just some really small little standard caution markings, and then a couple of Xeon markings. And that's pretty much it. PC 001 for our polycap runner here, just in standard gray. Runner A1 here, HG 144 scale Zaku 1 origin version runner and it is in like a kind of a little bit lighter gray to medium gray and it's a kind of warm color as well. So if you're like really specific about your gray colors, that's how I uh, break that down. Runner B1 here and there's no runner B2, it's just only this, it's just the kind of dark gray bordering on black almost, but it's still pretty dark gray just for the feet, elbows and kneecaps and inside the mono eye. Runner C, however, is a little bit closer to black. This is uh, almost black. It's just a really dark gray color here for just all the parts. And you can see the new part for the head is snuck on here, just right there in the corner. The original Zaku 1 head is here, so you will have that if you want to use that, if you don't like that bump on, on the head. But in that case, you know, there's not really too much reason to buy this over just the standard Zaku 1, unless maybe this... Uh, one is available and the other one is not. Runner C2 is just our parts here for the shield in just a kind of standard gray color. 
Runner D is the very familiar joint parts for the kit. So this would be mostly for in the arms and the legs. Joint parts for that in that kind of brownish gray color. And then we have another D2 as well for a copy of this half of the runner. Runner E is in that same color. And it's just a, a couple more uh, joint parts for the neck, a uh, connection part for the shield, a new part for like the top of the chest, and then some thruster bells there on this small little E runner. Then we got runner F, which is just our hands and weapon parts for the bazooka and the heat hawk. Then we've got runner H2, which should connect there on this runner, but instead of just being called F2, it's actually called H2, a little bit strangely. But this is, of course, just our parts here for the Zaku machine gun. So at this point, I think I could probably build this kit with my eyes closed, although uh, from my experience, that is harder than it sounds, despite being pretty familiar with the kit. But I pretty much know exactly what to expect with this kit. You guys should have a pretty good idea of what to expect from this kit. Uh, but we'll take a look at it briefly in the review. I'll have that coming up for you guys next. Either way, really solid kits. Um, I mean, they're really great kits. I don't mean to discount it by the fact that uh, it's basically just a recolor and probably should have been a P-Bandai. But even if you've built just the regular Zaku one, you can't go wrong getting another one. They're just fantastic kits. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the review coming up next. Bye-bye. Hey! Thanks for watching guys. Remember, if you want to check the kit out for yourself, you can head over to USA Gundam store, use that coupon code ZAKUARELIUS10, save yourself 10%. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time. Bye bye!